Welcome to Ao Nang Night Market in Thailand. This is an exciting place where you can try delicious Thai food, shop for cool stuff and watch live shows. It's all outdoors so you can enjoy the fresh air while you eat and explore. Best of all, it's not too expensive. Perfect for those on a budget. Located in the heart of Ao Nang, it's easy to find and a great way to experience the local culture. So let's dive into the tasty world of the Ao Nang Night Market. Back on Aonang. We're going to the night market, which is in this direction, but we're walking along the beach. Here's some guys doing some fiery stuff. Um, but generally speaking, these are like the little boys that are doing it. And then further down, there's, there's like maybe more grown ups, shall we say. But yeah, they're pretty good. Looks like a lot of fun. I think, yeah, it's a lot better at night, actually, once the sun goes down. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go to the night market, which is kind of this is our name beach. Our name beach. You go this way and you go up that way, and it's down behind the shops over there somewhere. We haven't been there before, so yeah, let's go. Let's go. This looks like the market just over here. So this is like Aonang Night Market, as you can see. Uh, we're just going to go to the 7 Eleven and get some water, and then we're going to come back here and we'll show you what it's all like. I just thought you'd like to see it like an overview. Okay. Okay. Uh, looks like it's like a mix of like uh, yeah, uh, buying stuff and food. So, like products and food, items and food. Okay, but we're gonna eat water first, then I'll show you. Okay. The market, or, well, yeah, back at the market, at the market. Um, walking around, walking around. Yeah, there's quite a lot of kind of arts and crafts here. We're more interested in the food, but you know, if you're up for some paintings, some. Mm, other things, uh, some other crafts, some things, some of this stuff. Uh, I obviously need more water because I can't pronounce whatever is in my brain. But food, food is, is the main thing we're going for right now. So let's do that. Okay, I'll just have a little wander around and uh, film it a bit for you and then we'll come back with what we've actually had. Got food. <laughs> Ordered, well, Asha's ordered, but also I got this while I was waiting. So I saw them. I would call them octopus balls, but I think they call them squid balls. So there's like squid and vegetable, and like some weird thing on it that tends to move a lot. If you can see that, Asha thinks it's alive. Oh, and it's hot. Mm. Mm. Whoa. What is it made of? I don't know if I want to try. This is moving. I'm not sure. I think I'll leave it for you. Oh yeah. No, they're really good. It's like squid. It's got veg squid and vegetables. And it's got like a sauce on it. This is just like a topping. The thing that moves is just like a topping. But yeah, really good. Covered with like kind of like a barbecue sauce and then like another kind of mayonnaise sauce. And it's got like a I have a soft kiwi, I would say, inside. And then... Too hot, too hot to like, bite in now. Um, and then, yeah, on the outside, deep fried, so it's like crispy on the outside. And then it's got these weird, like, shavings of something, which kind of like move in the wind as they kind of heat up and cool down. So it makes it look like it's... Oh my god. You don't have to. You don't have to. It's not like everybody's watching. Mm. What do you reckon? Mm. 
Mm. Definitely like reminds me about this Japanese pizza we ate recently. Recently. I like that uh, taste. It's that like, kind of barbecue but sweet. Well that's just the, well, the topping, yeah. They put uh, so much so much topping on top. That's quite a cool way of eating uh, octopus because that like, I, d I can't like really convince myself about oct octopus that much. I try since a long time in different countries, but there's this gooey thing that mm, only works with pasta and tomato sauce. So I don't know, but I'm for me this works. Yeah, I mean I'm not big on octopus. So you, maybe you can see it moving. Can you see it moving? We tried for Christmas Eve, but yeah. It's a nice snack, yeah. I've been all wet all the time, and why is it? You don't know them? I don't know, Okay, just me then, people. Um, yeah, and then we ordered, so I ordered that from that place in the corner there. And then I ordered, like, the actual meals from these guys here behind us. Okay, guys, the food's the brown. Really good. Like a seafood, uh, seafood pasta with I don't know what's that. Yellow noodles, it should it? be yellow noodles and yeah. cow meow. I, I feel like I feel like something arrives. Cow meow. It's right. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Key meow. Anybody know key meow? And so what I got was a pad thai wrapped in an omelette. So inside, wow, there is so cool. Pad thai. Wow. I think I went pad thai shrimp as well. Don't normally go for the shrimp, but this time around, why not, eh? Something different. Something different. I'm gonna try it. Can't see any shrimp yet. Mm. Let's try it. Mine is like. Mine is like quite like spicy curry, but like you know when you have like um like spices like cumin or like this kind of Ind Indian spices kind of feels like that. Maybe that's the cow meow. Yeah, maybe. But it's quite spicy and full of different seafood. So you can see already octopus, uh, prone and some other probably stuff that I can't see. And some little salad. So really yummy. I don't know what that means yellow yellow noodles but it was interesting i see i see really yummy yeah. ah i was thinking i would like some some this <laughs> oh yeah i've got this one da -da -da. it really makes big difference yeah it makes a pot right yeah a bit of lemon lime cool um yeah mine's you know standard kind of pet time <laughs> on the inner side yes so yeah got quite a lot of quite a lot of prawns in there um, not much else to be honest. <laughs> a few bean sprouts, a bit of egg, and obviously wrapped in um, an omelette. Really interesting. Really good. Really good, yeah. Yeah. It's really fresh. It's still hot. Cool, we're going to enjoy this. Um, and then get back to you after it's all done. Dum -dum -dum -dum. And I'll let you know how much it is at the end of everything. And this is what we're looking at. So that was 180 baht for the two meals at the restaurant. And then for my like squid octopus uh, balls, it was 59 for five of them. Pretty good. Um, yeah, so not too bad. This is the place. Check it out. Check it out. It's all kind of coming alive now. I think everybody's either woken up or got up or finished with their um, finished with their sunsetness. So yeah, now they're kind of coming. They're all hungry. They're all coming now. So it's getting busier and busier. That's it. That's it. We're uh, going somewhere. That was the night market. We are heading home this way towards the beach and then back around and back around and back around. You've already seen that. We've already seen that. Everybody's already seen that. Um, so yeah, that's it for this vlog. Thanks for watching. Um, why don't you subscribe just because? Because you watched all the way to here. So obviously you like us. So you might as well subscribe.
And like and share and comment and tell us and everything. Yes, I want to say comment down below. Comment down below. Yes, where in Thailand should we go? Where in the world should we go? Where in the universe shall we go? Where should we get our rocket ship from? Okay, let me know down below. And um, we'll try and get wherever that is. So that is it guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you on the next one. Until then, keep on drifting. <laughs>